Yo guys, what is up? My name is Jurocroft and welcome to another episode of Pimp My Build. Today's creation, sent in by Necromant, features an epic World of Warcraft inspired ziggurat. He has definitely done a great job with this demonic, temple-like structure featuring some curved stone spikes and a large green gemstone which just peacefully hovers above this curious looking building. Today's transformation should definitely be quite a journey, so sit back, relax and enjoy. And today we are kickstarting this epic transformation with an incredible amount of terraforming. Using programs such as World Painter and a combination of commands, I eventually surrounded this entire valley in mountains and custom trees. Right guys, now pay close attention because this is where the real magic starts to happen. Right guys, I am now going to attempt a whole new terraforming technique I practically just came up with. Let's start by getting this building completely out of the way. It's actually left behind what looks like some sort of ancient UFO markings, but this is not the reason I've removed the building. I'm actually going to have this creation floating in the sky, not on its own, but on a very special little island. Now this is where things get crazy and honestly I have no clue how I came up with this idea. I first started off by creating a solid red stained clay mountain and then actually flipping it upside down. Now going back to the build I then pasted the entire mountain into the ground and once again using commands I completely removed all of the red stained clay exposing a mountain like crater. After fixing the crater to make it look more appealing, I then moved on to the most important step, which was now to paste the exact same mountain right above the crater. All I had to do then was make sure to replace all of the red stained clay blocks with some grass and stone. Well guys, we have definitely made some serious changes when it comes to landscaping. I also later filled the crater with some lava, but it doesn't end there. In order to well stop our islands from floating away, we need to hold it down with some solid black chains. This also increases the overall fantasy look that I'm trying to go for. The whole idea behind using this terraforming technique was just to make it seem like an entire chunk of land has just detached off the surface of the earth. And so it is time to start upgrading the building. No plans whatsoever but for now just some serious detailing and a slight increase to the height of this creation. I'm keeping to the same sort of colour scheme turning the white pillars into large bone like structures as an extra added feature. Now as for the gemstone, well we're gonna make some simple changes adding some green wool and some lime green stained glass for extra detail. Now with just a bit of experimenting we're gonna take things a step further and add some effects using some green stained clay and some extra glass to make it seem like the gemstone is actually emitting some sort of aura. Well, I'm definitely starting to like the look of this, but we still have a lot of work to get done. We can start by replicating the front design to the back of the building, but this building will only have one entrance, so we do need to change the design slightly. I do although have something very special planned for the side of this demonic looking temple, building what looks like green toxic water just spewing out the side of the building. You can easily put this together with of course the use of some lime green stained glass and after replicating the same design over to the other side of the building we can now move on to the next exciting bit of terraforming. The idea was now to create a series of connecting streams of toxic waste, just slowly eroding at the surrounding landscape. It was probably more time consuming than building those mountains at the start of the video, but it was definitely well worth it, adding a lot of personality to this creation. You can just see how eerie this crater looks now that I've added a few layers of green coloured glass. As if transforming the build and landscape wasn't enough already, we're going to take things even a step further building four smaller gemstone towers right on top of different mountains within the valley. And now with finally all the towers completed, we can now finish what seems to be some sort of ritual taking place, connecting all four gemstone towers to the pinnacle of this epic creation. And finally with a warlock style altar smack in the centre of this demonic temple, I proudly present to you episode 2 of the Pimp My Build transformation series. You 
have seen what I have seen. You know what we face. Now, mortals, follow me into the abyss. Well guys, it has taken me several days to put this together, so I would appreciate all your support. Enjoy your weekend, and I will catch you guys in the next one. This is Jerocraft, over and out. <laughs>